Monomath. Hello. Today we are going to add integers, but we're going to do it visually. So first, we're going to use some really cool monomath gestures. Then we're going to take our horizontal number lines and turn them vertical. And then finally, we're going to simplify those in something I call an addition diagram that I think you're going to find is really easy and extremely helpful. So let's get started. Let's begin with sort of a little warm-up problem. We're going to talk about 3 plus 2. What number do we always start with? Zero. zero. Good. Okay, now here's how we're going to show we're at zero. We're going to take our left hand, so like this. Take your left hand up here. So I'm doing like, and now, now I'm like a mirror, okay? So pretend I'm a mirror. So here's your left hand. This is your left hand. And then we're going to point with our right hand with the one finger, just our first finger. So here's zero. Now, three plus two. Show me what would happen when we start with, when we add a three to this. We're going to go up to here. All right. Now, I want to add a 2. Where do I go? Up to there. All right, let's do that again. Ready? So, 3 plus 2. So far, so good? All right. Now, what we're going to do to show it up here is we will say 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2. And, but we still need to show where we ended up on the number line. And so here it is, right here, we ended up at the number 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So go ahead and mark that on your sheet, please. We're going to move on now to 3 plus negative 2. All right, what number do we start at? Zero. Starting at 0. Here's our pointer. Show me 3 plus a negative 2. Did we hit zero? No. So are we positive or negative? Positive. Okay, what's my answer? One. All right. Let's get ready for the next one. We start at what number? Negative zero. Zero, good. And then where do we go? Negative three. So show me what that looks like. Boom. Now we've got a plus two. Which way am I going to go? Up. Up. So my answer is? Negative one. Nice. Final one, negative 3 plus negative 2. Show me what that looks like. I'd like to show you a way to make a simplified addition diagram. I think you'll find this is much quicker and easier to use than a very detailed number line. Now, just like before with the number line, we always want to start with 0. So for this problem, 3 plus 2, all we have to do is draw a line. This line is going to represent 0. Then we've got the number 3. Well, here's my 0, and then I'm going to come up 3. Let's show that with just a little arrow like this, and then I'll just write the number 3 next to it to keep track of it. Now we move on to the 2. So from there, just scoot over just a little bit and go up another 2. Now, you notice I'm not pulling out any rulers. I'm not trying to make this super precise. Just trying to get a general sense of what's happening. All right, so we've got 3 plus 2 we've gotten ourselves an answer. Now remember, when we are adding numbers, the answer is called a sum. That's right. So once we get to the final answer, I'm going to put a dot. And that's just a reminder that I'm done. But I also want to write what that answer is. So right next to it, I'm going to write a 5. But again, notice how all the numbers look alike. I need to emphasize that this is the final answer. So I'm going to put a little box around it so that I can see what has happened. So now we've looked at 3 plus 2 equals 5. Let's get slightly more complicated. Let's think now about 3 plus a negative 2. Same thing as before. We're going to draw a line that represents 0. We've got a 3, so of course we're going to go up. This time, though, we've got a negative 2. So rather than going up, of course, we're going to go down. Notice as I'm doing this that I'm constantly moving to the right, just like you would read a book. 
finally, we're at the, we're at the end, so we're going to put what? We're going to put a dot. And our sum, which in this case is just the number 1. We want to emphasize that that's the answer, so we're going to put a box around it. Now, why don't you try some others? Yes! Remember to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about Mono Math.